Now you should follow suit and just get to the back People gon' talk either good or it's bad I see people gon' talk either good or it's bad <laughs> Literally just rubbed it across my finger. She gave me a skin mark. Welcome back to the Empress Keita Show team. And I have a special guest here. She's not really a guest, she's more like a permanent visitor. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Simone, make sure if you're not already subscribing. Subscribe now. Right now, my link is in the description box. You do what she says or. <laughs> <laughs> so today, we are actually going to be talking about zodiac signs. Oh yeah. Excuse me. We're going to be talking about the signs that this zodiac sign is falling in love. Starting off with the illustrious, most benevolent sign of the zodiac. The one, the only, the first, and finest, Aries. Oh, start this shit off right. Oh, we got some God. badass Aries in the house tonight. First of all, they are not going down without a fight. If they feel like they falling in love, they like, oh shit, wait a minute. We are ruled by Mars. We are ruled by, she want y'all to know she an Aries so bad. Aries gang, Mars, the planet of war. So, I mean, expect interrogation. Expect a battle of the emotions. It's like, does it prepare for impact? If she telling the truth, just from being around Kina, I know how she is. When she's thinking that she's catching real, she, what, what are those? I hate this bitch. <laughs> I hate this. Like, I be like, just fall into it. Like, you know what I mean? This bitch, she the love doctor, but she's scared of that shit. I'm not scared of it. It can be a little bit overwhelming. I call her we don't let our guard down easy. So, Taurus, they are slow to express their feelings. Damn near go into denial once they realize they fall in love. I like, can see that, I can see that. I know a lot of Taurus men. They're really cautious with their hearts. They like are very protective. Yeah, just from being a friend with a Taurus, I can see why they're like that though. They are protective of their heart because once they love, they love hard. A Taurus is your friend. They will do anything for you. So I can only imagine what it's like being in a relationship with them. Tori's not going because if you play with they shit, they snapping. On to the next, the crazy Gemini. Definition of crazy in love, y'all will go nuts. But y'all are super sweet, super romantic, like very like, wow, she just did that for me, he just did, wow. Oh, sweet. I don't, I don't know, know what Gemini she's encountered. When they in love. They crazy when they in love. She got a thing about Gemini. She don't know how to separate her bad experiences with Gemini <laughs> from the rest of the clan. The rest of the clan. But my sister is Gemini. She a little nuts. Right now I'm blocked on her phone. Like what? I hope you're seeing this, Terry. Why? What would I do? What would I do to you? You're killing me. <laughs> you're killing me, so But Malcolm was a Gemini. He was super sweet. Like Malcolm was a little crazy. Okay. I super love sweet. Malcolm. If you betray them, you piss them off. They damn near hold you on a pedestal. When you do something to them, it's hard to kind of recover from that. I can't say. They definitely will treat you right. On to a Cancer. That's what she is. Be that sign. Cancers, because they're very in tune with their emotions. You gonna know when they in love. They gonna wear their heart on they sleeve. Very nurturing. A little emotional. They're gonna express their feelings. I feel strongly for you. Most cancers that I know, they are not afraid to tell you how they feel ever. They will lay it on. They can't help themselves because they'll feel like they're bottled up if they don't express how they're feeling. That's the best sign to fall in love with for real because they are going to take care of you. We always try to like put your feelings first. It's obvious. It's doo 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 right on the screen. I don't think it's that goddamn obvious. Leo. Leos. Okay, Leos are going to try and make you feel as comfortable as possible. You don't know a Leo fall in love with you because they're not talking. They're listening. <laughs> Leo has their listening ears on. They're starting to focus on you and not themselves. They yeah, best believe it. They're going to be gassing you almost <laughs> as hard as they gas themselves. Yeah. They're going to try to share the spotlight, basically. Right. A Leo do not like to do that. <laughs> it's me. Actually, there's no other option. It's just me. <laughs> Virgos. Okay, now when a Virgo is falling in love, they start to loosen up around you because they super yes, uptight sometimes. They are. Because gotta be perfect, gotta be perfect. They start being themselves. They start being a little goofy. Things that you knew that they already had in them, but you couldn't always get it out. They will do anything to make their partner happy. And if their partner is mad at them, like their world is kind of fucked up. Hell no. You do not play with them, G. No. Don't play with them. Next, though, that I got. Hey, hey, friend, if you ever see this, this video, we love. We gotta get rich. Let's head down, put it in a hotel, we'll fuck around, let them hoes know. The same what they want. Hey, the same what they want. Hey, hey, hey. Next. 
Libras. I'll let her take this one. No, bitch. <laughs> like Libras are charmers. They let you know they like you. They going out their way to make you feel good. They just super smooth, suave. They go out their way to make you feel special. They are flirty people. I think they are very giving. They do try to make everybody around them happy. One thing about they Libras, are. they gonna always rebalance the scale. Hell yeah. They, I don't know. Like, I can't tell you. No, you don't know. I don't because... Anyway, the Scorpios. I like Scorpios. Y'all dangerous. Y'all slicksters. Y'all get in people's heads. And that's really y'all game, to be honest with you. If you mess up with a Scorpio, do not let them in your head. And it's probably too late. They're probably already in your head. It's something that's kind of fun about that danger. Hold on, I want to see what that's about. When they in love, you gonna know it because then they gonna start showing that jealous side. Scorpios are the seductress of the Zodiac. You gotta be careful. For real. Sagittarius. When they are falling in love, first of all, they gonna take a step back and they gonna watch and Who observe. Who Sag. Who? Mike Jones. <laughs> Take it away, Kina, because you want to put me on blast. <laughs> My business and shit. They gonna watch and observe from a distance, you know. They get real nervous. Usually they just, woo, life of the party. But then when they fall in love, there's a noticeable difference in their behavior. You trying to impress people, you know. That was the key thing. They, they in love, they try to impress above and beyond to the point where low key, they be doing too much. Sit down, you don't need to do all that. It's a book called The Great Guest. And basically, he was throwing big, huge parties at his fat mansion just to like flex for the girl. So she could come over to his party. They the like lines. snakes. They stalk their prey a little bit, like they be in the grass, peeking, watching for a long time before they decide to just. Peek. You know that's what that nervousness come up. They gotta be sure that if they gonna commit, they don't like trying to get to know people over and over again because they like, oh, I'm about to keep doing this shit. I'm tired of this, grandpa. <laughs> well, that's too damn bad. On to the next Capricorn. Dramatic. They are very dramatic <laughs> people. We're not going in on the signs. This is not what this video is about. Oh yeah, my bad. Get a It's like they're usually hard external people, but when they fall in love, they will show you their rare, softer side. They will let their guard down and kind of let you know you can depend on them, let you know they got you. You see that soft side and you can get them relaxed. That's when yeah. you know the Capricorn is falling in love with you. The Capricorns are definitely like, they like to make their people happy. Happy. It makes them happy to do things for them too. Aquarius. First of all, good luck because it's gonna be hard to find out if they fall in love because they're gonna be so secretive, real wishy-washy and distant. That's damn near how you know. They're very mysterious and they hide their feelings. But you are gonna find out. They're kind of similar with the Scorpio with their jealousy streak. So that's kind of how you gonna really start knowing. They try not to act like they jealous. They try to play it smooth. And I think you'll also know because an Aquarius will give you their last. Last but not least, Pisces. Okay, y'all know on the Pisces is because they first of all they fall face first deep in love. You know that commercial, I fall it and I can't get up. That's a Pisces when they fall in love. You know they in that water sign cancer shit. So they gonna be on some like that's what y'all be on. I've never dated a Pisces, but you know they are super emotional people. I think they might be the most emotional out of the zodiac. You know, people say it's cancer oftentimes, but I think it might be Pisces. They go neck and neck with y'all though with that emotional stuff. She be throwing shots. Y'all are emotional. Cause she describes me, she make it seem like I cry rivers. She don't cry rivers, but <laughs> y'all signs. Pisces be like that too though, cause that's that water. It's that water. I feel like Pisces take the cry baby cake. I think um, that just about covers it. So please like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done it. Please like and subscribe to my channel, Ryan Simone. Link to down below. Period. So if you want us to do more content on the Zodiacs, we can talk about this all day. All day. All day. All day. You did this too? <laughs> <laughs>